All right, this video is gonna be about overtraining, sleeping, and other things. So, if you didn't know, um, if you haven't followed me on Strava, I've got a lot of new followers, but obviously that's more for my race footage. But when there's not race footage, I do actually train my bike, and I'm averagely fast. Well, I don't know, depends what you wanna say. Uh, but anyway, so I had some big weeks last month, and a lot of people say, you gotta overtrain, watch out, you go overtrain, and all this stuff. And I was just thinking to myself, and um, I know Ash, I Eat Plants, um, he has the same thing. A lot of people are saying he's overtraining recently. Um, and we were talking about it, and I was just thinking, like, in reality, it's almost impossible to overtrain if you're sleeping enough and eating enough, unless you are, like, a pro who has 25 hours a week to train and does hella intensity. So, like, this week here, 24 hours might look like a big week. Um, the TSS-wise, we can go to it, uh, I think it's about 1100 or something. Yeah, so, like, that might be big for you, potentially, but I know I can handle it. So... I did this week and like I don't really talk about it too much because I don't really like to like I don't know I just don't but I, I went out every single week for every single day so I went out Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday all right so that meant I had four hours sleep every single one of those nights because I'd go to bed about 4 a.m wake up about okay maybe I have five wake up at like nine leave my bike um go head out on my bike at 10 so yeah I probably had in these four days like maybe 16 to 20 hours of sleep max um so yeah I was like feeling it but I can get away with it, and like, I think the thing is, is that, like, imagine if I hadn't have slept, I would have actually been able to do my interval. So this one here, this five hour ride, I felt dreadful. Like, it was just tempo efforts, like 300 watts, like nothing too crazy. Um, but yeah, like, it, it was just ruined me. Like, I was a state when I came home. Um, and then the next day I was supposed to do five hours, but the body was like, nah, you're right. Um, so anyway, I did all that, and then the thing is next week, this is what I'm talking about, it's like, I then went out, was a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Again, not much sleep. I was at uni this week. Um, and that just meant that, like, I didn't really, like, process my games. Like, it was a recovery week, but it wasn't really because I didn't sleep enough. And I think that's what I'm trying to say is that, like, it doesn't really matter how much training you're doing per se. Like, obviously it does. If I did try to do a 40-hour week, like, I would die, no matter even if I was, like, fully on form, ate incredibly clean, slept well stretched foam rolled had a massage you know all, all the ideal things i'd still be in a state but i feel like what i'm trying to say is that in, it's sort of up to you but the way you can do hella weeks is to sleep properly and if you're sleeping enough i feel like it's almost impossible to overtrain like it really is unless you genuinely are like the people who overtrain are genuinely like neo pros so they've just signed to the world tour are like uber keen they've got all the time to train you know, and they do like, oh, I'm gonna do 30 hour weeks for like four weeks and then have a week rest at like 15 hours and then they're just like, and then you just burn out. But for the average person, it's pretty much impossible. Like if you work a full time job, you could probably overtrain, but the way you do it is not because of the training, it will be more, you under recover, if that makes sense. Um, but anyway, I was gonna do an FTP test, but just, you know, the legs weren't feeling. I was trying to do like, well, I wanted my FTP to be like, 335 and i'm like 61 62 kilos that's like 5.3 watts per kilo 5.4 watts per kilo something like that because my goal is like five and a half for this year maybe more um so yeah i, I don't know it was a bit disappointing i didn't do one but it's all right because we'll do another three-week block um and then you know we'll see where we are we've got some big races coming up as well got a couple of tts so the tt bike will be it's it should be built this week i, I reckon um yeah i've got a couple of tts this weekend there isn't like there's any road racing that weekend and then Maybe Seven Bridge, but I'm not gonna get in. Crit. Um, this is, and then I, I, I'm. Def this is a big priority race for me. Um, but anyway, those are some of my thoughts. What do you think? Can you overtrain? Is it really just like under resting, etc., um, etc.? Et for me, it is, and I reckon that most people like to claim that they can overtrain because they don't actually like pushing through when it's really tough. Like the time you make the gains is when you're like really fatigued, and you can. I can almost feel it. Like today, I was being a bit soft and. Um, game of my last interval but I can feel that's when I'm going to make the gains because it's like you already ruined and then you just have to add that high intensity it's like let's say you're doing a six minute interval first three minutes chill next minute starts to get harder and then those last like sort of minute five um up to sorry minute four to five and five to six those are where you really make the gains and if you gave up up to four you wouldn't make nearly as many gains so I reckon it's the same with actual training like you might have two really hard days and then on third day you just feel like giving up but that third day is what's really going to suddenly zoom your training up massively so anyway cheers for watching hope you did enjoy this video about my little training if you've got any more questions let me know uh if you want to follow me on straws the link is in the description um please do love me a follow i love it and uh follow my journey for hopefully a five and a half watt per kilo ftp so anyway cheers for watching hope you did enjoy and see you in the next one